Hey there stampers, this is Michelle Suit with Suitably Stamp Studios. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I had a fun new technique for you today. Well, it's not a new technique, but it's one that a friend of mine, Sharon Klein, shared with me and I am in love with it. It's called Cloisonne. So I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to start with this beautiful blended bloom stamp, single image. We need to, for this technique, we'd like to use something with some um, a nice open areas. So we'll take advantage of the, the uh, colors in the papers that we choose. So I have my blended bloom stamp, and before I can use it, I need to use something that I also love, which is magazines. I have a confession, I'm a magazine junkie. And this was one that I recently picked up. Uh, I'm also just any color speaks to me in the store so this one has tons of color in it so I when I uh, took all the information and recipes I wanted out of it I made copies and then I pulled out pages that I want to keep in my folder when I use this technique so you can see all of the beautiful colors and flowers and just a gorgeous array of colors and these are perfect for this technique absolutely love this one. I'm going to show you a couple cards when we're finished, uh, completed cards that I've used with a couple of these pages. So you can see just really pretty textures and colors. And uh, this one is another one that I used with these roses, beautiful roses that uh, I did a completed card out of that you're going to see also. So the first thing you want to do is decide which one you'd like to use. And I'm going to use this one. And the way we're going to start with our technique, the things you're going to need, you're going to need some Versamark ink. Versamark is our watermark uh, ink that we have that we use with embossing powders. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. You can also use it just on, on a cardstock to give it that well, watermarked look with the stamp that you choose. So we're going to use our, water, our Versamark ink and we're going to just stamp it on top of this large image, which is a great way to, to uh, ink up your larger images, is to flip them over and stamp them upside down. All right, I've got that, so I'm going to pick the area that I would like the color on, and I'm just going to push that down and stamp. Pull that up. Now, you're not going to really be able to see it very well on there. I can, I can barely see it on there, but I know exactly the area that I stamped in, so I'm going to pull in my... Um, tray for my embossing powder and I'm using my gold embossing powder for this. You can use any color you'd like but you're just going to go through and sprinkle it on there. Don't be shy because we're going to dump it back in there when we're done. And we'll just go back off. There we go. You can see here I should have used my embossing buddy. Um, before you start embossing you can use your embossing buddy which is this awesome little tool. It's got um, a little bit of powder in it, but you wipe off the surface you're going to emboss and it will take the static out and not give you these little little flakes of gold outside your image. So you can do that. Do as I say, not as I do. So once you have that image stamped, you're going to grab your heat tool. Now I'm going to heat a little bit of this one for you just to show you the magic of embossing. Our heat tool has two settings here, a one and a two. I usually go for the two. You can still hear me and let it heat up just a little bit before you start. And we're just going to put it down on the image and you don't want to go like this because your powder will never ever melt. So if you can see the magic, see that? Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. Look how beautiful. And you can just go around the edges. And there is your embossed flower. How gorgeous is that? You see that? Oh, I love it. All right, so the next thing you're going to want to do is grab your trusty paper snips. Best scissors ever. Oh, I hear Nellie. She's trying to save me from intruder squirrels outside my window. <laughs> Thanks, Nellie. All right, so you can see there is my image. Oops, I missed a little spot, so we'll just reheat that real quick. You can see that. There we go. Jiffy quick. Now, a lot of people grumble when we start doing what we call fussy cutting, which is cutting images out, but really it's not a big deal. And I'm going to show you the trick to it. You're going to use your paper snips. You're going to start and go in 
just towards the image, towards one of the edges. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold your paper with your non-dominant hand and you're going to let the, the um, scissors do all the work. So the paper's just going to move around and you're going to hold your scissors and just let your paper and move them up and turn your paper. Oops, turn your paper and just follow that edge around. And it really is an easier way to do your fussy cutting. Alrighty? So you get the idea. So once you cut out your image, you will then be able to do the fun part, which is design your cards. And I have two cards here to share with you. First one was from that page with the gorgeous, uh, you can see those melon colored roses. Actually, those are some of the roses like my daughter carried at her wedding. Um, and I just embossed on them in gold and then added that as a focal point to this little Thinking of You card, embossed the background. And I embossed a little tag with the Thinking of You. So it really does just pop off the page. And it's nice because with Stampin' Up! all of our colors, you can always find something that will coordinate. And the other one I did is one for Christmas. I love this. This was one I saw these little berries on the page that were uh, kind of hanging behind the pumpkins and I thought, oh, that'd be a beautiful Christmas one. So I embossed the gold on that also and then just added it as the focal point for this one with a little bit of our gold foil paper behind it, a real red card stock embossed, and then the, I embossed the season's greetings in gold on this card. So there you have it. A really quick, easy way and addictive way to uh, make some cloisonne focal points for your cards and your projects. It's absolutely stunning when it's done. And trust me, you're going to start looking at your magazines in a whole new way. So um, I will have the list of products here for you on the video. And if you would like to order these to make some of your own and grab your magazines and get busy, um, just go to my website at stampinsuitsme.stampinup.net. And also, if you'd like other ideas and fun ways to keep up with all things Stampin' Up!, please go to my blog at DisneySuitsMe at blogspot.com. And I hope to hear from you soon. I love hearing from my customers. And if you have any questions, please, please don't hesitate to ask. So I'm wishing you a magical day. I hope you get your fingers inky. Thanks. Bye.